hello guys welcome back to my channel uh, merry christmas um, so as you know we are uh, already in the capricorn season so to celebrate uh, this season uh, we're going to start with one of the most famous <laughs> i believe in my opinion in my humble opinion one of the most famous um k-pop idols uh, of capricorn sign um and I'm, I'm talking about BTS B, BTS Taeyong. So, um, yes, this reading is going to be dedicated uh, to him. Uh, of course, as this reading is going to be like uh, for the next three months or so, you know, then I will do a sort of update during, during the, the 2023 um, because I don't want it to be that long so we can explore a bit more uh, and probably pull cards for him. As, as the year advances. So let's see the cards that he got. He got the, um, the Hierophant, um, he got the Eight of Pentacles, Four of Cups, Two of Wands and Ten of Cups. Uh, and then from the Oracle of the Chakras he got the card of Miracle. So yeah, definitely. I think that for him, probably 2023 is going to be a year of um, of a lot of structure, you know. Uh, uh, I think that uh, for me, even though he is a, a nerve sign, um, he is a Capricorn and he's always like looking for stability. I think that when it comes to creation, sometimes he can be a bit too impulsive and having a lot of ideas. And, you know, whenever I read for him, I always get his morning Aries coming out in the readings, like a lot of ones, you know, a lot of fire, a lot of temper also. But now I'm, I'm, we're starting with this heliophant that it's a symbol of somehow traditions. And it can also mean that probably he's like, or he, either he is already or he's like planning to listen a bit more to what the company advises him to do. Uh, or somehow he's going to be a bit closer to, to the... I believe it's high, you know, to the company uh, guidelines, you know, to what they want to do and how they want to proceed. And probably they do have like a sort of a schedule. There, there's something planned for him. And I, I think I, I there's a sense that probably in the past he tried to make things or create things um by himself or on his own and somehow those didn't turn out very well so i think that probably he's like going back to the basics or actually like going back to the old system probably asking the company for advice uh, asking the company to somehow also provide the um, um the advices point of views and also the the resources that probably he will need to continue working because I, I believe that he he's working on something he's been very he's going to keep working on this on 2023 there could be a possibility that he could release in 2023 what he has been working on for so long but um, it, it's going to be very like you're probably going to hear about it and then it, the news is going to disappear or he's going to give you hints about it and then he's going to totally change the the, the way he does things you know um definitely he wants to to connect with his creation you know i think that that he he had always been someone that that he he tries always to stay true to himself uh, and I think that he came to the realization this year um, that he cannot make things happen by himself. You know, I think that he tried and actually uh, probably also he wants to do it, you know. And, and this is not to say that he needs 
that that he needs of others to to create music. I think that uh, eventually, when he, um, probably when he becomes a bit more mature, he will be able to release things by himself. But for the moment, the, for this year and the years to come, 2023, he's going to have to reach out to others still, you know, and because there seems to be always like an initial excitement or burst of energy and ideas coming from him. And he is really excited to do something, to create something. But then eventually he, he loses interest, you know, and, and I think that that's why we have the four of, of of cups here in the middle. You know, there's something about this energy uh, that I think that probably it has to do with everything that is going on with the group, you know, that he is going to be a bit apathic, you know, and I think that he's going to come to the realization that he actually had been feeling apathic for quite a while. And that somehow... This is why he needs others, because he needs others to somehow keep him aligned with his purpose, you know, because I think that he is a dreamer, um, but um, there's a side of him that he's not satisfied 100% with his life. You know, there's this very emotional need, um, I'm glad to see cards of cups, to be honest, because uh, at the times that I read for him, there were only cups of pentacles and a lot of wands, a lot of fire. So I was like, oh no, oh no, there he comes. Because he, he has this, this energy of being very impulsive and also a bit of childish sometimes. But he has a good heart. He's not he's not revengeful. He he's It's just that... Um, he is true to himself, and if he feels a certain way, he's going to act on it. Uh, and I think that, honestly, for him, the challenge of 2023 will be to go deep into himself and, and somehow to start to notice or start to, to, I wouldn't say reflect, because I don't think he has the emotional deepness yet to somehow see that probably the these circumstances of him feeling apathic, it has to do with his own energy. I think that he still blames the outside or, or what's going on in the exterior or on in his um, of his environment. Somehow he's looking at the outside, you know, and, and, and he's also someone that he still looks for help from the outside without realizing that actually this apathy that he feels he needs to connect with this with his interior with his inner child with his emotions you know and this is something that he will have to do by himself you know um, not this year of course but I think that as he gets older he will have to connect with his Capricorn self you know that that Capricorn sometimes the return of Saturn it, it does uh, put a lot of like or challenges in our lives to somehow make us feel uncomfortable and sometimes it makes us feel like lonely and being lonely or on purpose so we can see how we manage ourselves by our 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 own means you know and i think that that there's a part of B that he definitely longs for independence. He is a guy that that in the future I believe he's going to be an independent person, because um, he has the energy, he has the the the, the fire to do so. Uh, but I think that he still is like he comes and goes. You know, he he is not fully in touch with his emotions or with what he wants to do you know he's he still he has like an inner battle with himself where he wants to be left alone and probably he wants to be alone or or just get out of the routine and being with other people even with the strangers you know to to, to meet different people 
but then eventually he gets homesick or he gets a bit nostalgic and he gets a bit sad and he's like no I have to go back to my people to the people I know to my circle because they know me because they you know he is a bit uh, like a stubborn in this sense you know and, and probably people around him are like okay if you're not happy with us just go just go but don't, don't come back you know but they know that eventually he comes back but there's this sense of what i have i don't want it you know there's there's something about if you if you see the poster of this of this four of cups it's all it's it's very like like an attitude of like okay what i'm getting i don't want it i don't know what i want but this that i'm getting i don't want it and probably when it comes to work he will be offered a lot of things or options and he he will be like oh well maybe yes i could choose some of this but i don't know because i want something bigger so, and also there's there's a sense of pride in him he doesn't want to give his his um his um his time nor his effort away he's someone that he knows his value he knows he he knows how big and how how important BTS is and how in consequence him being part of BTS he is important so he's like you know and this is very Capricorn as well he's like thinking um, about um, about his worth you know as, as a label as, as someone that is important you know he's like okay i'm not going to just take whatever they offer me i have if i have if i if i'm going to work on something if i'm going to participate on a project i want to do it big i want this to be like groundbreaking or i want this to be like to leave people like with their mouths open you know I, I want to shock people i want them to be like oh i didn't know we could do that you know and he wants to also go go worldwide you know he probably wants to associate with people that are very important and also very influential as him he definitely wants to reach out to a different kind of audience but also an audience that can understand his taste because he's like it's like he doesn't want to do something cheap you know I, I don't know why i'm getting this word cheap or tasteless i think he wants to do something um it's not about the value but it's also he wants to do something classy something that even it it looks luxurious it feels like i don't know maybe it could be like a, a deal with a brand a luxurious brand or something like that i don't know but he definitely wants to go like to expand his horizons um and i think that that whatever he decides to to associate himself with i think that he will be very welcome what whatever he he will decide to work with this because he he has the he has the, the Ten of Cups, so definitely I think that for B, um, love and acceptance and also a possibility to, to work with people that he really likes um, or to just spend time with, with, I don't know, whether it's other celebrities, other BTS members, um, his own family or other people's families. I think that what, where, whenever, wherever he goes, he's going to find this sense of, of acceptance and also everyone will be really from their heart will be really excited to have him around and and i think that this is also what he's looking for he's looking for a sense of feeling like family and um i think he wants to feel like he belongs i i think that somehow uh, something has happened in in this life lately or in his own lifestyle that probably he he was feeling apathetic because of this because of not like 
not feeling welcomed, you know, or in, in his own perception, I'm, I'm, I'm not saying here that this is the reality. This is, I'm reading for him, so this is his perception. That when it comes to his emotional needs, he is very peculiar and almost like a bit demanding, you know, he needs attention and he needs to, to people to show him that they really care. And not only because he's famous or because you have to see him every day so you are forced to love him and accept him you know he wants something real so i think that probably he will also do a lot of traveling or just hang out with people that are not his usual uh group of people that he hangs out so in this sense i am hoping and, and with this i'm also like um, somehow letting the fans know that if you love him and you want to see him happy, if he starts hanging out with people that are very different or people that are not BTS or people that are not the typical people you would see associated with B, uh, please be respectful and do not spread like uh, nor comments, nor hateful comments, no critics, nor, because those things get to him, you know, and I think that he is someone that he, at, at the end of the day, he will do what he wants to do, and he will hang out with the people that he wants to hang out, and probably something that you will have to get used to be is that he will hang out with people that are, like, very, like, like unexpected you know that you will be like oh i didn't know he was friends with this person or i didn't know he was into this or i didn't know he he um he went to this i don't know to this bar or to this you know so definitely you will see him like around you know and also this is this is part of of his own searching you know he's searching he's trying to 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 do things right you know he wants to he definitely came to the realization that he um that he was being a bit like um a bit he wanted to be a rebel he wanted to be rebellious, rebellious but then he understood this is why we have the hero fund at, as the first card for the 2023 that somehow he will have to go back to traditions he will have to go back to to following the rules to somehow following the guidelines and probably following what the managers the company everything that that even his own family what they want him to be or to do and this also has to do with uh with job you know with, with probably what he's working on you know because somehow they are letting him know that he's not ready yet that the things he he's aiming for or probably the projects that he wants to launch are not good enough or that they still need a lot more like detail or working a, a more so so he's like he's a bit tired also because i think that he takes it personally um just like anyone would you know we we are all susceptible to to feedback you know when, when we get a critique uh, you know we don't take it like oh yeah thank you you know we, we sometimes we become more on the defensive so he is a bit like oh but I, I i thought that it was good enough you know but i think that this is why probably he will he will want to expand his horizons and probably meet different people like to experience different things so he can also connect with the feeling of being alive you know there's something about about b that he also is a very passionate person uh and he definitely wants to feel the warmth he wants to feel the love of people and and not just like of like oh send me messages or, or because for him words are important but he wants to feel the warmth of people he wants to feel the presence of the people that he that he loves you know i think that he definitely had been feeling very lonely 
probably he's feeling lonely and this is why we end the reading with the ten of cups you know and he's also going to think about you know you know the, it is in his mind i believe that he would want to have a family of his own you know um i think that he's a bit tired of being alone it's just that i think that this is a very premature idea or vision or dream that he has he's not mature enough to to have a family of his own uh, to be honest but i think that this is secretly this is what he wants um it seems that he wants family you know he wants like this very like this loving circle of people that that is waiting for him to come home and that is is loving him unconditionally and is there when he's moody and is there when he's happy and is there when he's celebrating you know he wants that i think that this guy definitely feels really lonely and 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 when i say this this is i think that this is probably the common uh feeling of a lot of idols you know like especially when you had achieved so much you know but at the end of the day you go back to your hotel room or you go back to your empty house or your empty apartment you know it, it's like you start to wonder what is happiness for you you know and what is success for you and and what what you know what is uh, success and what is happiness about so i think that for him he's definitely entering you know, a more mature uh era where um he's definitely looking for people to connect he's looking for his community he's but he's looking for a community that will not just take him because he is a bts member you know he definitely wants like a uh, like uh, a true community you know like a true group of people true group of friends you know he definitely doesn't want to be alone he wants to be loved and accepted as Taeyong as Kim Taeyong you know not 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 as BTSB you know and and he's thinking about it and then um and i'm saying this because <laughs> i i have the sense that probably he's going to start hanging out with people and he's going to be seen and people and in the internet is going to go crazy and, and everyone will start to make like you know a lot of assumptions about you know is this his girlfriend is this who he's dating you know just leave him alone please <laughs> and um and and then he gets uh, the card of miracle so i think that yes definitely 2023 will be uh, a year that probably a miracle can happen for him uh definitely he has been wishing for something i believe that he has been wishing for something in particular and it has to do with connecting with happiness you know and i think that this is a very intimate desire of his um i think he he also wants to deliver you know he wants to give the the fans a great experience you know he wants the fans to to really be happy with what he creates but sometimes because of everything that the, the whole pressure of him being who he is sometimes creativity runs away from him or he feels so tired and exhausted and so black that you know inspiration just doesn't come you know and i think that probably him like allowing himself to connect with others allowing himself to 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 experience a bit more and also to connect with you know with other people's um somehow guidance because because he cannot do this alone or by himself like he thought you know so i think that definitely the card of miracle is that when he least expects it he's going to create or he's going to get his wish come true so he definitely like should keep working he he should keep his his eye on the ball you know his his you know his intentions very clear to not obsess about it to just go live your life 
like expand your horizon, like expand your networking, like go, move, like flow, flow with the universe and the universe will grant you what you want. So definitely I think that something is going to happen in his life. And this is very important because he had wished for this. So I don't know, maybe if you are a fan and if you follow his, uh, I don't know, the way he communicates or, or, or if he ever talks about what his, his true wish is, maybe we can get a bit closer to what this miracle can be about. But yes, it's going to be a very important year for, for Taeyeon. And, and this is all about maturity and this is all about him also learning to be a bit more grounded, to be a bit more, more calm, you know, to be a bit more like, okay, slow down, like breathe, like, you know, you, you do not have to get all agitated inside. Just, you know, breathe, just calm down a bit, flow, just, you know, but just be patient, be patient, that, that your time will come. So yes, guys, this is all I have for him. I hope that you enjoyed it and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.